take your SQL statement from this messy, hard-to-read paragraph to this nicer text with spacing and line breaks. The SQL Spacer is free VBA you can run from anywhere. Not just Access, use it in Excel, Word, anywhere you have an SQL statement you want to make sense of. You can also download an Access database that you can install as an add-in or just use it on its own. The database has the SQL Spacer VBA code and a form to make it more convenient to use. Hi, this is Crystal. This database keeps track of contacts. At the top of this form is a combo box to find records. If you're curious about this list, to see where the data is coming from, look at the SQL statement. Go to the Design view of the form and select the control. On the Data tab of the Property Sheet, Shift F2 to zoom the row source so you can see it all. There's the SQL statement. Not too pretty. We can make it better with the SQL spacer. Control A to select all and copy. I've installed the SQL spacer as an add-in so it's convenient to use anytime I have an access database open. Database tools, add-ins, and SQL spacer. Running the add-in opens a form. Paste the SQL statement on the left, press tab, and now the result is selected on the right. Copy it. Switch the windows back. Zoom the row source. Paste the SQL with spaces, replacing what's there. Go to the form view and test. It still works. You can replace the SQL anywhere you have it. In queries, record sources, row sources, and to create documentation. The add-in form is active again. That's how easy it is to get an SQL statement, run the SQL spacer on it, and replace the original. What if you want to make a new query with the SQL statement? Seems like it should be pretty easy, but there's a gotcha. Create, query design, the design view of a new query opens. On the right, I see object names in my contacts database, which is the current DB, so everything looks okay so far. Switch to the SQL view, paste the SQL, and switch to datasheet view. What? An error? The SQL can't find my table? What's going on? Did I type something wrong? Is there a comma on a new line that belongs on the line above? Jack Drawbridge told me about this problem. Everything looks okay. So why doesn't it work? Well, I'll tell you. Apparently, when the add-in form is active, the new query goes into the add-in database, not the current database. To illustrate this, here's some SQL that shows the names of objects. The information comes from the MSYS objects table, which every access database has. The datasheet view shows me object names in my add-in, not the current database. <laughs> oh, and this query here didn't work? I made that when the SQL spacer form was active and it didn't work. That was before I realized why. Thanks, Jack. Not the behavior one would expect. Nice that you got it and tested it. On the forums, Jack is 
J draw or orange 999 depending on where you are. So how do you make a new query in the current DB? One way is to close the add-in form and then make a new query. The add-in code is still loaded in VBA, but it doesn't hijack creating a new query. If you want to leave the add-in form open, activate an object in the current DB. These are all the objects. Hmm, what should I open? Oh, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> open anything! And then create a new query. Paste VSQL, go to the datasheet view, and voila! It works. Close and save if you want. This demo database is my contacts, which you can download free with source code from msaccessgurus.com. I'll also put a link in the video description to get the SQL statement showing the object names, as well, of course, as a link to the SQL spacer, VBA code, and add-in database. This SQL spacer can help you untangle logic inspect something that doesn't work quite right, create documentation and more, please comment, like, and subscribe. I teach. If you're developing an application and want to take it to the next level, let's connect. I'll show you how. Thanks for joining me. Enjoy your day.